All right, we're back. Uh, Still drinking the same beer. Wow. Magic beer. It's, it's Magic of editing. <laughs> I was going to say, it, it lasted from when you began to right uh, now. There's a mystery on how all this happens. <laughs> been no continuity in you know, my editing. <laughs> there isn't. No. Nope. I mean, we do all kinds of stuff out of order. Sometimes we forget that we played the game. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, so anyways, here's the... Uh, we, we, you just saw a three-player game of Run, Fight, or Die Reloaded um, with uh, Gary coming out victorious because he held on to the diseased guy forever, basically. Yeah. Um, which, which was, was really impressive, play, yeah. actually. Uh, so this was, for me, this game was exactly what I was expecting uh, when I bought it, maybe even a little bit better. So it does get a thumbs up for me. Uh, this isn't, also for me though, this isn't like, uh, this isn't a game that's like going to soar to my top five or something. Because right. that's not the point of it. I mean, but it's a, a solid game that I would keep in my collection for, because it's easy. Easy and it's to just teach, easy, easy to, to teach, out, easy and to just set up. stupid yeah. fun. We were having a lot of fun, you yeah. know, it like, oh my gosh, how are you going to deal with that next wave? And like, you know, the thrill of digging through the yep. loot pile and being, yeah, Molotov, I'm good for yeah, another I, round. I got you a know. lawnmower. I, I get yeah, to mow down some or, zombies. Or the, you know, shotgunner or whatever. So uh, it did a really good job of simple, uh, fun, being able to, you. I don't feel like the dice rolls, you know, were ever at a point where it was like, I can't do anything ever with it. Right. I mean, there were certainly opportunities to get screwed, but there was enough things, like, if you had a chance to draw a loot, or a location could have helped you, or, you know, I rolled all guns, so I got to strategically hit what I needed to with stuff and, and stuff like that. Um, and then always... I mean, it comes right out of the gate after the first round, and it's like, oh, you can feel the pressure. Well, I noticed uh, one thing, like, each character has a special, like, three special abilities, mm -hmm. and in some games it's like, oh, yeah, you're using those a lot, but in this one it felt like, oh, they are special because I only roll them, like, maybe once or twice the entire game. It's, like, not impossible to get them, but it's like, if you try to focus on them and you don't get them, then you're going to have, like, a really bad time. Yeah. So, it's kind of like dedicate yourself to try to do it or try to just kind of get to a good right. point where you don't get overrun. Yeah, you know? and, and along the same lines is the, 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 the I found the special abilities that Jeb's talking about very interesting because the majority of them needed the zombie heads. Yeah, yeah. So It like, might be like was, a desperation type right, thing. Right, so know? it's kind of like... I, I, I kind of found it twofold. If you went into the turn like, I really want this, mm -hmm. trying to roll zombies, okay, fine. But then the flip side of that is, even if I didn't want them, if I got them, it was still possible to do something. And then keeping the game to the point of, okay, you got this good ability, but you still have to take the, the zombies, zombies that, that are, you roll. Yep. So you, it didn't, you know, so that was always a, a, a factor too, was like, oh, okay, I got to wipe out a bunch of stuff or do whatever that the ability let me have. But the downside of it was now you got extra coming in. Whereas if I rolled, let's say, like I rolled all explorers yeah, just, or whatever. Fine. Okay, fine. I rolled all explorers and I got to do whatever. I, I got to flip two locations closer. But now all those zombies came at me and mm -hmm. who knows what I got for the uh, the good abilities on those uh, location and okay so they didn't come down faster that might only be beneficial like turn one mm -hmm. so I the, the uh, keeping it like always moving yep. and always coming at you and they did a, a really good job and, and and then having the mutant zombie is a really nice touch yeah. too because not only does it make it difficult but it now you have more decisions to make. Oh, yeah. That, because is, drawing that card every turn is like... Ooh. Drawing that card and the fact that you could sh shoot at him to get points. So mm -hmm. 
if you know, like if you saved up some good loot so you know you're safe or whatever else, there's no reason not to take a couple extra points. Yeah. Um, you know, and... They also have those, uh, those one points where it's yeah. face down so you don't know if you're getting zero, one, or two. Yeah. Or one, two, and three, yeah, the whatever. mutant has the face down one and then the, I think they're called leadership. Yeah. The leadership tokens. And my luck was to get the lowest number yeah. every time. Uh, yeah, and I... And it was the uh, having the um, whatever they call them in this game, the survivors or whatever. When you draw the the cards, I thought it was a nice touch that you didn't know what kind of survivor it was going to be. Like if it's going to be bad or good yeah. or you know. And then sometimes the good stuff, it's fine that it was good, but they were kind of worthless. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost like. The ones that you had to suffer the consequences have the better powers, right. but they really messed with you. Uh, so all around, I, I thought it was a, a a a nice light type of game, and I I don't know. I mean, I feel I almost feel like going forty five minutes. Maybe that it was how long it was, but didn't feel like a forty five minute game when you played. Right. So. Yeah, it's probably experience and number of players. Mm -hmm. Although we played three and Max is four, so adding the fourth probably wouldn't be too much longer. Eh, so. Especially once you know how to play, because yeah. really it's a dice chucker, then go through and make sure that you move stuff in the proper order. As long as people pay attention to their when it's their turn, then yep. it shouldn't slow down. Yep. So. so, I enjoyed it, so I get, I give it a thumbs up. Uh, I'd play it again if you wanted to bring it to the table, so... I agree. Uh, uh, also, I think when we were talking about, I don't know if I said it when the intro of this, that the, mm -hmm. it was a Kickstarter, but I did get the expansion, was which is basically just a few extra characters, okay. a couple extra cards. Um, nothing, nothing in the expansion, like all total new gameplay or anything. Gotcha. And the rule book does have solo play, cause I, and I think Jeb did say one to four, so yeah. there is a um, a separate deck of cards and things like that, so you can so you can play solo. Um, after playing the regular game, I actually it actually crossed my mind this might be worth. I'm not a big solo. solo person, but I figured this might seems like it'd be easy to set up. Yeah. And I bet the rules don't change a whole lot to to play it solo. Mm -hmm. um, so I I. I could see myself taking a crack at the solo version of the of the game. Uh, the only thing for me for things to remember, uh, skipping ahead, mm -hmm. is I feel like there's not really too much, too much left to, to say. To say. Mm -hmm. uh, if, I think for us, we might have forgot the first time to draw the mutant card when he came into play, just because the, most of the game he wasn't in play, and we just kind of got into a routine of doing our turns, and then when he came into play, we were like, I think only I think I it think was, it was only, only like one person that forgot yeah. it or something like that. But, but like that's just something that when he comes into play, you there's an entire phase on your turn that right. is now active. So Which, try not to forget. Go back to what Jeb says. Always look at the phases because yeah. it says right in the phase, draw mutant card. But if the mutant's not out, you don't draw the mutant card. Right. So so, so that's that was the only thing for me. Everything else seemed pretty simple to remember. I so. agree. Definitely a. Uh, good game for like family play as long as you like uh, zombies yeah and it's not like there's anything there's no creepy art or anything like that it's very whimsical so yeah. Yeah. um yeah i don't i don't have any anything else on that um i'll take jeb's line and subscribe and and uh and thumbs up and um nobody ever buys us coffee so i won't talk about that yeah uh, if there's any games you want to see, but nobody really says that either. So we've had it a couple of times in the past, and I yeah. think I don't, and I think we've played every one that was requested. I mm -hmm. think I think so. Uh, so you know, we have plenty of stuff sitting around. Though. So you don't you don't have to request if you don't want. We'd, we'd be busy for years unless we ever got to do this full time. Yeah, hey, you better cool. get us. So you got to be a really big tip if you wanted to do this full time. <laughs> really big yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so anyways I, that's all i got uh for that all right yep yeah, that's it for me too so see you all later right, later boards and booze booze and boards with mickey and jeb